Select AWS events for the event source, then scroll down to the sample events section and search for EC2 instance state change notification. Let's copy this sample event because we're going to use it as our input to our Lambda function. Consider this, you want to trigger a Lambda function every time your EC2 instance changes state. Can you do this using Amazon Event Bridge? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the EC2 service, then click on Launch Instance and give it a name. Select an instance type, a key pair, and leave everything else to their default values, then click on Launch Instance. Click on Instances, then confirm that your instance is in pending state. Next, let's head to the Event Bridge service, click on Create Rule, then give it a name. Leave the rule type to rule with an event pattern, then click on Next. Select AWS Events for the event source, then scroll down to the Sample Events section and search for EC2 Instance State Change Notification. Let's copy this sample event because we're going to use it as our input to our Lambda function. Head to the Lambda service, then click on Create Function and give it a name. Choose Python 3.10 from the Runtime dropdown, hit Create Function, then scroll down to the Configuration tab. Click on the execution role, then select Attach Policies from the Add Permissions dropdown. Search for EC2, then select Amazon EC2 Read Only Access, then click on Add Permissions. Next, head back to the Lambda window, then navigate to the Code Source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre written Python code. On line 3 and 4, I'm extracting the instance ID and the state from the details section of my event. On line six, I'm plugging in the values of the instance ID and the state variables in this message, which says instance ID has changed its state to the state value. Finally, on line eight, I'm returning the success string. Hit deploy to deploy your changes, then click on test to configure your test event and give it a name. In the event JSON section, copy paste the sample event, then hit save and click on test again to invoke your Lambda function. Confirm that you see the message of instance ID has changed its state to pending in the execution logs without any errors. Next, let's head back to the event bridge window then select Use Pattern Form for the creation method. In the Event Pattern section, select EC2 as the AWS service and EC2 Instance State Change Notification as the event type. Let's leave the specification values to any state for any instance, then hit Next. Select Lambda function for target, then choose the Lambda function we just created then hit next. Configure tags if you like, hit next, then click on create role. Next, let's change the state of our EC2 instance by going back to the EC2 tab and stopping our My Web Server instance. Next, let's head back to our Lambda function window, then navigate to the monitor tab and scroll down to the recent invocation section. Click on the latest log stream then confirm that you see this message which says instance ID has changed its state to stop. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the data get a ticket to the Amazon Event Bridge party?